Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some good old daily silver, silver Nuzlocke. We are going to continue our quest of trying to get Wong to love us. And we're going to go back to go... F a day has passed, basically, since I last recorded, so we're going to go back up here, get it done. As a reminder, as I like to do in every single one of these episodes, if you want to show some love, make sure to leave a like on this when I'm done with it, if you end up liking it. <laughs> Uh, it really helps out everything, and it really makes me happy, too, so there you go. Whoa, what is that art on Polyworld? <laughs> He's like, going, uh, give me five. Only oh, but he has four hands. Uh, Wong, can you survive a Polyworld water gun? Let's find out. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we started this off with Wong dead? Because I don't know what I would do if we, I had accidentally killed Wong. All right, quick attack. It's fine. This thing does nothing. It is nothing, and we're quicker. Oh, thank God for you learning quick attack, my boy. Shoutouts to Wong, who's currently trying to summon for um, Gala Alex in Dragalia. When you're hearing this, this will be the day after Gala Alex has been uh, released. And man. Crazy, crazy times. Switching to Kid Fisto, I do not trust. I don't trust Eradicate. Super Super Fang has got me spooked. I don't want to deal with Super Fang if he got it. All right, let's see. Hyper Fang. That too. Hyper Fang is also very bad. Pop pop. That's pop pop. That's a good pop pop. Can it kill though? I mean, yeah, we do have 10 levels on it. I sure, will, sure as hell hope we can kill. Alright, depending on what this Pokemon is, I might... Alright, I guess. Mm. Well, I don't think Krabby's gonna know anything, unless it knows, like, Bubble Beam. Let's find out. It knows Bubble. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay. Quick tag. Well, bam all right, not bad. Vice grip. Mm, mm, kind of scared, but we'll keep going and hope for no crit. Oh shit! That was very bad. If he, if he had a crit, he would have killed me. Fifty. Heal up, Wong. I mean, he would have been able to kill him, but if he missed. Would've been bad. Would've been bad news bears. Would've been bad news brown. Speaking of bad news brown, I don't know if anyone here currently watches wrestling. Isn't it going through some weird... Because of all the coronavirus stuff, wrestling has turned into this strange, strange thing. All the WWE stuff has been, one, fascinating. Uh, mainly because it's you're literally seeing a company figure out live on air like what are we gonna do and the answer is we don't know like their main event was supposed to be like regardless of what you think about the product which i think it i think low on the product it was supposed to be um goldberg versus roman reigns and now i got no problem with roman reigns you know especially after you know everything he dealt with with the coming back after the uh terrible medical thing he had to deal with and all that stuff it really kind of put but even before then i felt for the guy because i felt like oh he was a perfectly good wrestler just he couldn't there was like i couldn't get behind him as a character like the things they were making him say i just couldn't get behind but after that it was kind of you know pop pop it was easier to get behind him and stuff but anyway it was supposed to be him versus goldberg which there there is no one in the world currently that can carry a match with Goldberg. It is like trying to... You could put the greatest... You could put literally the three greatest wrestlers that the entirety of the WWE currently has and they would not be able to make a good Goldberg match to save their life. It's just impossible. The man does not... But mainly because like good Goldberg matches back in the day only lasted 30 seconds. And you can't, you can't make that interesting when they already have a guy like that. It's Brock Lesnar. Everyone's favorite um walking looking at uh, hey Brock Lesnar. anyway it was supposed to be um roman versus the goldberg but then at the last minute they were like no not at the last minute what happens is that roman reigns has um 
a terrible he he was been recovering through a lot of like his sickness and stuff so he has like low deficient i think immunity or something something i forget exactly what the term is so forgive me if i'm getting that wrong but he had something bad on it so he basically said like i'm not wrestling and he was showing up for a bit and then the miz showed up sick and he was just like nah fuck this so i'm out here and you guys can see me later. I'm gonna have Wong actually fight. Well, actually, I'm gonna use. Oh, please don't one shot me. I keep thinking everything's gonna one shot me, but it turns out nothing's gonna one shot me. All right. Yeah, as a, we'll see once it uses a thunder shock or something. Um. Jesus Christ, Wong, you are strong. Why are you so stupid strong? Um. So he basically dropped out of the match, and now currently I believe they have already... That was supposed to be the main event of WrestleMania, and now the main event of WrestleMania will be, according to rumors, um, Braun Strowman versus Goldberg. And I don't know how that goes. If it ends up taking a coronavirus for them to actually give Braun Strowman the title, I'll be extremely sad. I think his time has passed. Mintberry. Now, Raiders fan said there was a berry tree right here, but I'm gonna guess that's not the right berry to give to my to my milk tank friend here. Yes. Oh, damn it. I uh, see. It has to be a very specific berry called berry. So, oh well. We are gonna go get our boy Wong a haircut though. Get him looking fresh, as the kids like to say. I think this is a maybe this was the berry tree he was talking about. Oh, it is. So I'm gonna assume Raiders fan meant this tree. All right, good, good looking out, Raiders fan. Thank you. That was a comment left to us. Let's see, I read every comment, review everything, all all that good stuff, all all the things you would expect from someone. Oh, there's berries on the side here too. Hello, uh, Snoot, the ghost of Snoot's past. I'm gonna beat you down for a bit. So yeah, wrestling is weird. So and then everything that like, I don't know if you've seen the clip of Austin 316 Day on WWE, but you need to see it. You need to check. I'm if you were on Twitter or whatever, you have to have seen it. And if you're not a fan of wrestling, no explanation at all. I guess the only thing I can explain is that Stone Cold is 100% a wrestler that needs the. He has such an audience drawing thing towards him that you need someone that's like... Someone with that charisma makes people like cheer and shout when they're by. So when you have no crowd, <laughs> it's really weird. Because he just shows up and he's like, he's doing the shtick, but no one's there to actually talk about the shtick. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Hyper potion. I wonder if we can find a water Pokemon in here. Let me see. We didn't catch a Pokemon in here. We did catch a Pokemon here. It was Skoo. Skoo is the Pokemon for this route. That's right. All right. I'm gonna I'm be a man of my word and keep it like that. Skoo's the Pokemon, so we're not making no excuses, huh? Ah, oh, stupid Berry. I need to sell some stuff now. Great. Let me see. Go down here. We're on Berry hunting mode now. But yeah. Um, wrestling. It's been bizarre to watch because wrestling is in essence a never-ending show. It's its supposed to never stop in theory, and it really has never stopped. Um, if you want to see how crazy it is that wrestling has never stopped even when it should have, it did not stop when, when it should have, by the way. I'm going to say this right now before I tell you the story. It should have stopped. It didn't stop when um, Owen Hart died in the ring. Like, there was a pay-per-view event and if you ever hear the announcement of um, Owen Hart has died, it's heartbreaking because it's literally a friend of Owen Hart's reading the obituary going like, oh god, he's dead. But he's doing it in like a way to kind of be like, all right, so this is this is what this is the update, this is what's happened. And it's kind of it's like, oh my god, this is such a terrible situation. They should have stopped the pay-per-view, but they didn't stop it. They just kept it going. And they announced I think his death pretty soon after the main event or something close to it can't 100% remember on that it's been a while I just know it was fucked up so let's see uh, we can surf 
Let's see if we run into anything. Let's see how level it is. Nothing's caught here. Oh, hello, Tentacruel. Jesus Christ, what the... <laughs> Why are you so strong? <laughs> Sand attack. Oh, thank God that you only know Poison Sting. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm affected with PSN. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt more than actually anything else, so. Eat this berry, Wong. Eat the berry. Perfect. No storing acid. Please don't kill me. Mm. I mean, it's not doing a lot of damage, but it's enough to make me go like, oh god. Oh yeah, one can't be confused, dumb butt. Alright, I'm going to see if- do I have a potion? I have super potions. Uh -huh. Drink some fresh water, Wong. Drink it up, buddy. Alright, that's unfortunate. Can I just throw a Pokemon and catch you, Tentacle? Can you be cool like that, bro? Can you do me a solid and just be caught? Let's see. One, two, three. Damn it! We were supposed to be cool, bro. What happened? Ugh, I'm afraid of Wong actively hurting himself. I mean, it won't be enough to kill me. Let's see how much it does, though. God, why does it deal so much? Again, it deals so much. And it's literally not doing anything. Alright, clearly he doesn't know any moves. Any water moves, because he would have used it by now. So it's time to ring in Fit Kid Fisto. Alright. I'm gonna tackle you real quick. And then we'll see if you can get in the damn ball. Damn, it does a lot of damage for a tackle. <laughs> it dealt one damage with a crit. Well, the PSN is actually going to hurt us way more than anything else he does. Ooh. Kid Fisto, calm down. If Kid Fisto was not infected with poison, he would have killed that tentacruel. Tentacruel. Alright, now we have a backup water Pokemon in case the unfortunate happens to Soul Rock there in the back. What? How dare you? How? Oh, you know what? You know it'd be good right now? If I ran away. No. You literally have no moves that can hurt Jolene, so... She's coming in. I mean, Poison Sting is bug, but you're not going to be able to catch her with the bro bro uh, broad side of the door. Alright, stun spore. I think Acid can act. No, Acid is poison and Jolene is poison. Jolene... Girl, please don't. Oh, that's not good. Get poisoned. Are you kidding me? I hate this stupid tentacle. Why is everything, like, all of a sudden super hard to catch? It's more like he just has an annoying moveset because of his stupid-ass, um... Poison. All right, you're done. You're done, Yin Rings. Get out of my face. Please get caught. You have one HP and you're paralyzed. One, two, three. All right. Now let's see who we can name him after. Pull up the good old documents folder. Go to Pokemon list. I know for a fact no one is asked to be Tentacool. <laughs> no one's ever asked to be Tentacool in the history of Pokemon. Uh huh. Yes. Tentacool, your name will be. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. You can be. I'm almost positive we haven't done this yet. You can be Gavin. And if it is, then I can change the name. Gavin. There you go. Alright. 
Someone's poisoned, so we're gonna go straight to the... We're gonna straight to check to see if they're not dying. There we go. And on the bike. There we go. Go in here. Wow, we've been recording for 15 minutes. Anyway, that's the end of today's episode. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to continue. By the next time we cut, I will have Wong. I will give Wong his haircut. Goodbye. See you next time. Remember to leave a like if you liked it. Tell me your thoughts about wrestling if you made it this far. <laughs>